passengers. Let's consider all the men. How many men were on the Titanic? 1,692 men. Is that true? So there's 1,692 men who were aboard the Titanic. Of that 1,692, how many survived? 332. So don't pay attention to just these numbers. Some people go, oh, 332 versus 318. Oh, it's the same number. I don't know what you know, the problem is. Same number of men, same number of women survived. Well, let's see. What's the context? There was a much more what? Men. So 332 divided by 1,692. What is that as a decimal? 0 0.19 what? 6. 0 0.196. That's the probability. Now, what's this as a percent? 19 point what? 6 percent. So let's stop and think here. While 75 percent of the women survived, only what? 19.6 percent of who? The men survived. 19.6 percent of the men. So which sex was more likely to survive the disaster called, you know, the, the Titanic, I guess. Which sex was, what does it mean by more likely? Has a greater probability value, okay? More likely. Which probability is larger? 0.754 or 0 0.196? 0 0.754, what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Which sex was more likely to survive? What's the answer? Women were more likely to survive. And it doesn't matter. These tables, you can do this all day long and compare different groups all the time. You can compare, you know, men versus boys, women versus girls, males versus female. Um, you know, it happens all the time. Who's more likely to purchase a certain item, men versus women? So this is how they gather the data. They gather it in the form of a table, organize it in, the, you know, in terms of your sex, and can now start comparing you know, outcomes or events here in relation to your sex. OK, you guys OK with this? Is that easy or hard? It's easy? It's OK. You sure? Hmm? I used to give, um, you know, I used to give various different scenarios for um, for these uh, for the definition of conditional probability. And at one point, I had some some information I gathered I got from some book about the relationship of criminals to victims. Okay, and we used to, you know, explore that relationship by using conditional probabilities, you know, using the definition. It was a nice exercise. I sort of since lost that data, got interested in this sort of data and, you know, different data you get interested in. But, you know, I remember pointing out to a class and going through this sort of stuff. If you look at different relationships, right, whether you're a stranger or whether you are um, an acquaintance, okay, and certain crimes like homicide, um, assault, um, robbery, you know, that sort of stuff. Do you guys know that you are more likely to be killed by who? By who? By someone you what? No, either a friend or a what? Family member. Do you guys know that? It's more likely to happen. That, does it mean it's guaranteed? No, more likely. Um, even if you're a female, certain crimes against females, in fact, um, it's less likely, even by sex, for a man, although that's true, it's much more true. You know, there's a higher probability of these things happening when you are a female, which is why do you know that if a female shows up, what, or is discovered, you know, dead, female? Who's the first person they come looking for? 
the husband or boyfriend. Why is that? Because these conditional probability values, these tables of information that people keep, indicate that it's a much higher likelihood of this thing happening from a boyfriend or who? Husband. So as a matter of procedure, the first person they look for is who? The husband or the boyfriend. And they rule the person out. They rule them out. You know, probably ask them to take a lie detector test, ask them where they were at, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that's the, this is used all the time. So there's a lot of rich environments that you can think of and determine conditional probabilities that you have value in your life. Okay? In fact, if you're a female, what should you watch out for? There's a, what's that? Jealousy? <laughs> um, you're much likely to be assaulted by a friend, acquaintance, you know, somebody you know, even, even casually, right? The guy that's, that you walk by every day who sits on his porch looking at you. You guys know, you know that guy? Exactly. Exactly. So what do you do? Do you guys know, what do you do in those sort of situations? There's also this happening, too. What do... Um, Victimizers look for. What else? What do they look for? What like what? I mean, I had I had this sort of discussion with Ashley. I mean, not this discussion. I had a similar sort of episode last night with Ashley because you know I have a daughter and you know they look for. I've been talking about this for years. They look for something in you that says what. A big victim on your head. In other words, you kind of turn away, you pretend that it's not happening, you're not even there. You know, oh, I see you, but I don't see you. You have victim on yourself. So what are you supposed to do? You know that guy that's always kind of watching you when you come home out on his porch? What do you do? You just stop and you look at the guy. Say, I see you. Make him look un feel uncomfortable. Not the other way around. So you look at him, going, "What's going on?" You know, you have to say anything. You just look at him, and then, oh my God, you know, have you ever noticed that? Anybody ever do that? You never do. You never done. You've never done that stuff. You guys never. Even when I go home too, when I'm like, well, you, well when I park my car, huh? You have your dad coming. <laughs> you park your car. There's like some some creeps, you know, seeing what's going on. You know what I do? I just look. You make that person uncomfortable. Because you don't want to put what on yourself? Victim. Does it cause attention? I don't know. I actually think, I think personally it works, and the person's going to go on to somebody else that has what? The victim on them. OK, so even if, you're, even if you're a female, you walk by some guy who's like, you know, I know you don't want to look at him. I know it makes you uncomfortable. But what should you really do? Show them that you see him and that it registers. Don't try to look away and hide, you know. Some of the stuff is, is true. No? You guys don't you guys didn't know this stuff? Huh? Oh, the pro you know what's gonna happen though? You know how guys are. <laughs> 